So what you can do is you can take a coconut, you can drill a hole into the coconut, and you can pour some sweet sticky rice into the coconut. So the monkey comes along, and the monkey puts his hand into the coconut and grabs the sticky rice. So the monkey is trapped, and the hunter comes and collects the monkey. But the monkey is not trapped, because you've made the hole so small that the palm can go in, but the fist, once he's grabbed the rice, cannot get out. The monkey could have chosen to let go of that sticky rice and to walk away. So the monkey had chosen to be trapped. So the question for myself when I first heard this analogy is what is your sticky rice? What are the things that you're grabbing and holding onto which are actually constraining you and meaning that you're so busy and and so stressed which you could actually choose to get rid of? And for me, there were many things that were my sticky rice. I was always known to be really responsive to email. So it might be that even on a Saturday when I was having a restaurant dinner with my friends, I would be rude and get out my iPhone and reply to some emails because my sticky rice was I wanted to keep up my reputation of being responsive. And so when I realized that, there's so many things which made me burnt out, which I thought that I had to do when in fact I chose to do it. And actually this language really does change your perspective because when I would say, oh, I have to fly and give this conference talk here and I have to reply to these emails and I have to go to this charity meeting, if I actually change my language to I choose to, I choose to do this talk and I choose to serve on this charity board. And I think, well, do I really want to do that? Is, is that the correct choice? And that's what led to me actually saying no to many things and then becoming much freer.